Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon from the Complex Pixelmon server brought to you by Complex Gaming slash Complex Pixelmon slash all those things and whatnot and therefore and how to. Made no sense, but that's okay. Guys, in today's episode, we will continue to collect more of the newly added Generation 8 Pokemon. I'm very excited to do so. But first, more people have left me their heads. I will... Oh, there's... I feel like there was two things here and it got stolen. It, do you... You, uh, you leave stuff at your own risk here, guys. Because if you don't take it... Uh, a Whalmer Pail? That's adorable. I think I had one of those before um, in one of the other servers I played on. Lots of heads here. Lots of heads. That's not a head. That's a dirt. That's a face in and of itself. There's a head right here. I will take it. Your heads have been placed on my wall. By the way, are these two um, brothers from another mother? Huh? Long lost twins? Huh? Separated at birth? Huh? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for your, your gifts and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and break all this stuff. Ocean Amethyst, here's my head. Uh, lamp for your... Lamp for you. Love your videos. De Devilio PT. Um, hi, Vintage. D... D Follow my TikTok. Uh, Cody Saunders. Ha are any... Ooh. Oh, I can't break it. Oh, this is on somebody else's property. Oh, this one's mine, though. I could break this. Can I break that? Interesting. Uh-oh, I think it's lag right now. My connection has been so bad lately. Yeah, I can't break those two. I can't even break this, apparently. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to break all these uh, chesticles right here in my area. Thank you guys so much for giving me all these wonderful things. Let's get back to um, catching some pokes. First things first, we've got a little boss action here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to reach him. He's actually pretty high up, but maybe... Oh, this is... Oh, that's my guy. I'm like, whoa, there's a Rillaboom there. Uh, let's see. Come on, Hoot Hoot. Yes, here we go. Let's do a uh, a drum beating. That gets you down quite a, quite a ways. It's only, it's, I mean, it's not a very powerful boss, so the rewards probably aren't going to be the best. But hey, you never know. Oh, critical hit on me, huh? Drum beating again. Let's finish him off, and we get a power lens and a rare candy. I will take that. That isn't bad at all. Let's do an RTP, and hopefully we get lucky and get somewhere interesting. Oh, yes. This is nice. You know what spawns around here and is an uncommon spawn? In the ice plains at night, a Galarian Meowth. Uh-huh, and then you can evolve that Galarian Meowth into something else. I'm hoping to catch two of them, if I even find one. They are an uncommon spawn. I mean, the only thing better than an uncommon is a common spawn, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's any uh, tier that's uh, higher than or between common and uncommon. So the chances of us finding one, they're not the best, but they're not the worst either. So I'm going to keep walking around here, and hopefully I get lucky. I would love a couple of Galarian Meowths. One Galarian Meowth would be even better. No, I'm, I'm lying to you. I need two. It wouldn't be better to find one. I'm just saying that. So the game thinks that all I want is one, and then it provides me with two. It's called reverse psychology. We got a Galarian Linoon here. Now, I've already caught one of these. However, two evolve it i'm gonna need another one so we can end up with one galarian linoon and one galarian zigzagoon so we don't really have a whole oh definitely won't use the master ball on him we don't have a whole lot of um options here to take him down so let's just try a dusk ball and see if we get lucky he's only level 21 how come it doesn't say that i caught him already i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i caught him already maybe we can do should we do a level ball? Level 51, 21. That might be enough. Let's try a level ball here. This could be good. Oh, there's another one right across the river, too. I'm feeling like these are pretty common. Still no Meowths, though. Okay, there we go. We caught them. Um, let's see. Oh, what is that? Ooh, this is a Galarian Zigzagoon for sure. An Obstagoon? I didn't even know these existed. I kind of want to catch them now. Level 50. We got another Galarian Oh, this is a Zigzagoon. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just caught a Linoon. That is a Zigzagoon. So I'm not sure what I caught before. Maybe it was one of these that I was one of these that I caught before. Okay, hold on. So we don't need this one. We have one. We just caught one of these guys, and now we're going to catch one of these guys, I hope. Let's go with uh, Dark type attack. Knock off. Okay, that wasn't very powerful. Let's try a Drum Beating. Okay, good. Good. Oh, he used rest, but he's sleeping now. Okay, now's our chance. He's still going to be sleeping. I'm going to try drum beating one more time. He's in the red. Still sleeping. Bag. Um, 
Dusk Ball, I always like scroll my mouse wheel, and that's why it, it zooms out when I do that because I'm trying to scroll like the menu of, of the Pokeballs, but it never works. And we caught him. Okay, so now I think we have all three of that line, uh, that that family that family line right there. We're still hoping for a Galarian Meowth. Well, look at what we have here. Oh, you are a looker, aren't you? Okay, let's uh, throw out... Maybe we'll use the line noon here. Level 21 versus this level 28. What I assume is a Galarian Meowth, because I've never seen a Meowth that looks like that. Uh, pin Missile's a bug type. Headbutt. Okay, that's... I can live with a headbutt. I can live with about four more headbutts, I think. I flinched, or he flinched, sorry. There's another headbutt. Metal Claw. Ooh, I wonder if it's, uh, I wonder what type it is. Will it be like a steel type Pokemon? Use Scratch, Critical Hit. I got another Headbutt off. I think I'm about, oh, nice. There we go, in the red. I think we should be good now to throw out a Dusk Ball at this Galarian, what I'm hoping is a Galarian <laughs> Meowth. I mean, it definitely looks like something, a Meowth I've never seen before. Why is it waiting? Please don't glitch out on me now. That would be bad. Got him! I had to end the battle and start over again, but I got him uh, with an Ultra Ball instead of a Dusk Ball. Oh, man. We are... Oh, he's carrying a Quick Claw. Nice. I'm going to take that out because the last time one of the Pokemon was carrying something, I think it disappeared when I put him in my PC. So we're going to make sure it doesn't happen again. Let's see what we got here. We got the Meowth. Okay, so there's the Zigzagoon. There's the Linoon. Oh. And there is, let's leave these three guys together. We got the Milseri. We're going to evolve one of them today. We're going to pick the best one. There's the Aracuda. We got the Sizzlipede, the Centiscorch. We have this Eevee that I don't even know if I'm going to keep yet, but I'll put it off to the side here. We've got this Toxel, which I'm excited to actually use. Then, of course, we got the Poltica. These are all uh, guys that we've caught before. In fact, let's bring these along with us. There's the Meowth. Yeah, this will be like my Pokemon catching team for now. There's the Meowth. Now, I think we have to get... I think a Meowth evolves into a Perserker. Is that it? A Perserker? Maybe? Possibly? So we have to get another one of these guys to evolve them. But there's still so many Pokemon to catch. Our next target is a Snom. I think I'm pronouncing that right. So it spawns in uh, cold forests or freezing forest biomes at all times of the day. And it is, again, an uncommon spawn, much like the Meowth. Um, and it spawns on either land or treetops. So we're going to have to keep an eye out. We need two of them because it evolves into a fr Frostmoth. Frostmoth. Fr Frostmoth. So it's probably a flying. It is an ice and bug Pokemon, but it's probably like a flying Pokemon. Not like the type, but what it actually looks like when it spawns so we'll keep an eye out for it it is night now i was hoping to do this during the day but you never know it might spawn here at night i believe the uh oh no i was gonna say the galarian mr mime spawns in i think it does actually the galarian mr mime might spawn at night in a freezing forest biome but um i believe i've already got one of those Look at what we've got there. It's a snow. Is it called a snome, maybe? Like a gnome in snow? A snome? Because it's not spelled like that. It's spelled just snom. Uh, this guy looks kind of cool. Let's go ahead and engage him in battle. Now, he is an ice type. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll use a different... I don't want to knock him out. Let's get Boltund in here. It's only level 40 compared to level 52 in snom or snome. A spark. Hello, that did a lot of damage. Let's just try to catch him. That'd be kind of nice. We'll go with a Dusk Ball since it's still dark. We need two of these things, though, so I'm hoping to hang around and catch another one. And hoping this one actually goes into the ball when he's supposed to. Very nice. Okay, I got a Snom. Please excuse my dog barking in the background. I was not expecting to find this. Another Galarian Meowth. I really wasn't. Um, We don't want him to attack. We want... Oh, what are you, frozen? You're probably frozen. Let's go with the ice cue. And we will catch another Meowth, because now we can, we, now we can, um, I guess, keep one, evolve the other one. That headbutt is not going to do a lot of damage. Oh, this dog needs to stop. I'm going to beat the crap out of him. Just kidding. <laughs> I would never do that. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> that sounds so malicious. A cloud of mist. What did I do that for? Icy wind. 
Okay, he avoided the attack. Let's just tackle. Keep tackling him until he gets down to the red here. And we will hopefully be able to catch another Galarian Meowth. This is good news. We've got a bunch of Pokemon to, uh, to evolve soon. We're getting real lucky with the captures today. I caught another Snom. Snom? Snom. Another female, level 48 this time. Let's check out the stats here. First of all, the Linoon. I can't remember which one I caught today. Pickup ability. That's good. Actually, I can make a pickup team with this Linoon. Um, gentle nature. Sure, why not? Then we've got this guy. Gluttony ability. All right. Modest nature. Okay. And then this guy that I definitely caught today. He's got the Reckless ability. Powers of moves have recoil damage. Oh, interesting. Then we've got... Oh, wow. This guy is a defensive guy. 133 defense and only 59 special attack. I guess it could be worse. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. He's level 50 already. I could take him to some of these, uh, some of the gyms, the Battle Tower especially. So we didn't catch any of these guys. We caught both Snoms today. Shield Dust blocks the additional effects of the atta of attacks taken. Interesting. We've got Struggle Pug. Uh, str struggle Pug? <laughs> That's amazing. Struggle bug and powdered snow. Uh, a quirky nature. And then we've got shield dust again with a sassy nature. I don't particularly like either one of these. Again, the same moves. Let's check out the milsery, which we did not catch today, but we had two last time. Sweet veil. Mild nature. Mild nature. Not sure why my voice cracked there. Docile nature on that guy. Wait, what's the sweet veil as well? And then the two meowths. The two Galarian meowths. Um, oh, so he's... Is that steel type? That's got to be a steel type, right? Tough claws. Powers up moves that make direct contact. He's a modest nature, which I think is bad. I don't think we want a modest natured meowth. And then this guy, tough claws again. A careful nature. I guess is better than the modest nature we want i think we want this guy to be yeah the modest nature lowers its attack stat and i'm pretty sure it's a physical attacker so i think we want to i think we want to upgrade this upgrade i think we want to evolve this guy for one and then i think we want to evolve a special defense is speed. it's already a slow pokemon so let's evolve this guy the snom and the or snome i don't know and then probably I feel like this guy might be a special attacker, so maybe we evolve this guy, because he's got a boosted special attack, a lowered defense, though. So let's try to evolve these three guys and see what they look like, and uh, we will double our catch today. Well, I mean, technically, we've already caught double the amount. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Either way, we're going to evolve them. Hmm, another Milsery here. Maybe I'll catch this other one. It's level 8. You know what? Maybe I'll catch this one. Maybe it's got a better nature. I wasn't really super happy with the milseries that I had. So let's try this guy. And then we're going to level up the Galarian Mouth. He evolves into a Perserker at level 28. And it's already a level 27. So we are really, really close. Bag. Okay. If you don't want to go that way, you're going to go into the Ultra Ball, dude. I'm not going to try to damage you. You're not going to waste my time here. You are a level 8. Okay? Thank you. Now let's see what this guy's all about. Oh, he's carrying Berry Sweet. Interesting. Sweet fail, same as the other guys. And then a special defense at a lowered speed. Sassy nature, enormous growth. Interesting. Let's go put him away in my computer here, my PC. Maybe we'll change. Well, hmm. I don't know. I think we still evolve this one. Special attack. Yeah, it's, it's boosted. We'll evolve. I could check the IVs as well, but I mean, slash IVs, uh three he's got six special attack ivs 21 attack iv mm, not that good <laughs> he's not that good we're just gonna live with him though meowth is evolving i've never seen what this little guy looks like when evolved so you're gonna be seeing it for the first time well if you i mean unless you already know oh oh okay oh he looks really close iron head the user slams the target with a steel hard head. This may also make... Oh, I like that. Fake out. Hone claws. I like hone claws. Scratch. Payday is good for coins. Um, Let's go ahead and remove scratch and keep that move. He's kind of an interest. Oh, it's so choppy here. He's kind of an interesting looking character. Not sure how I feel about him, but not bad. 
Not bad. I am about to do something I've never done before. I'm going to use a ball modifier here. A Pokeball modifier on one of my Pokemon. Why? Because Snom evolves into um, its next form. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Uh, it, it, with high happiness at night. And so, okay, here we go. So this is a friend ball, right? So does he immediately have 200 happiness? Experience, moves, exp uh, where's the happiness? Power, accuracy, where, where do I see ha happiness 50? Okay, so maybe he didn't automatically get, ah, oh, that's kind of a waste. I think I wasted, I think I wasted the thing. So if you capture a Pokemon with a friend ball, he automatically gets 200 happiness. I was hoping that changing his ball to a friend ball would give him the 200 happiness, but apparently not. So what we're going to do is just have him out and go search for more pokes. Eventually, he'll get his 200. A cricket tot, boss! Level 5. Okay, no, wait a minute. That's impossible. I feel like the snom is going to have to powder snow and struggle bug. Um... Here, let's uh, put you away, actually, there, Snom. And if we put him away, we should be able to take this Cricket Tot boss pretty quickly here. Level 33. Okay. Iron Head. Yeah. One more time. Storing energy. Cricket Tot fainted, and we get a Throat Spray and a couple things that are useless. This little guy's been following me around for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and um, he is not much close. 62 happiness. Not that great. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy a Soothe Bell because that will increase his happiness as far as I can remember, I hope. Anyway, Soothe Bell, bye. So now it should say, no, it doesn't say what it is. Here, buddy, hold this. Hold this while you're walking around and let it soothe you. So we're at 62 happiness now. Let me see. Okay, so now let's take a little walk here. Let's check out this area. This is a beautiful area. Oh, there's a Pokestop right here. Let me go ahead and claim that. Maybe it's got some good stuff. Did I claim it? I did. Fresh water, burn, heal, super potion, hyper potion. I need to start using potions more. I never do. Is it weird? I'm probably weird for not using them. But anyway, 62 happiness is where he was at. Now we're going to go all the way down here. and see. This is a gym, right? Pretty sure this is... A, is this flying? I don't know what that logo is. Water? I don't know what this is. What does it say? Water! Hey! My second guess was correct. So we can't even take on this gym until we beat the first one. Uh, but anyway, we're just seeing if this in improves. 65. It's definitely going up a lot faster. Hi, Charlene. I wonder where my chauffeur is. He left with the, with the car minutes ago. Uh, there are no cars in Minecraft. Charlene, do you like... Charlene? Charlene, have you seen Snom? Hold on. Snom? Snom? What is happening? Why is... There's my Snom. Do you like Snom? Look at him. He's all gelatiny and stuff. Or Snom? I don't know. Uh, guys, he's at level 200. So, I don't think... It's probably not high enough yet to level him up. It is nighttime. Maybe we should try just one here. Let's see what happens. Okay, not high enough. Did he actually gain happiness from eating one of those rare candies? 203. Okay, cool. I'm just going to run around this, uh, this desert. Hi, um, what's your face? Well, I can't even right click him. What? Oh, it's probably my connection. Yep. Team Rocket Grunt and Karis. I won a contest once. Congratulations. Oh, one, still won a contest once. Um, yeah, I'm just going to run around this desert and hopefully snom. That's kind of a weird name. Uh, anyway, hopefully Snom will uh, will gain some happiness, and then we can finally evolve it, and um, and hopefully it looks really really cool in the next episode. Oh look, it's a Sizzlipede. In the next episode, I plan on uh, doing some more battle tower stuff. I also want to battle people. So like I said before, whoa, look at this. That's kind of cool. What's down there? I thought it was a dungeon or something. Uh, so if you're interested in battling me, please log on to the server. Keep an eye out for my Twitter. And then I'll uh, I'll announce when I'm about to play or something. And then if you're around and you want to battle me, feel free. Like, it's just a fun battle. Not super competitive or anything. You guys pretty much know my team anyway. Well, I might level up some some new pokes to, to battle you guys. But yeah, it's all Generation 8 Pokemon that I'm going to use. And hopefully it's a fun time for everyone involved. I think our boy's ready to level up, guys. He's ready to evolve. But first, what is this clay doll? This is, this is a special looking clay doll, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. 
Um, level 40 clay doll. I will try and catch it. Um, struggle bug. Cosmic power. Struggle bug. Good, good. Struggle bug again. He's increasing his defense. Super effective. Struggle bug. All right. One more time. Cosmic power again. Oh my gosh. Rapid spin. Okay. Struggle bug. I think I will try and bag him now. I don't know what this clay doll is. It looks very, very different. Uh, let's try an ultra ball. Why not? We have 64 of them. And I think I have like 16 more back in the chest. Come on, clay doll. Oh, he broke free. Dang it. Um, all right. Let's try. Oh, I did the, the zoom thing again. Dusk ball. I don't think I want to do another struggle bug. Is there? What is that? I captured clay doll. Now, what is this thing? Oh, that's the yeah mask. That's fine. That's fine. We already have one of those anyway. And I think that's the regular variant of it. Is there like a Galarian clay doll? Apparently, it's an alter form clay doll. Um, ooh, is that rock and what is that? Psychic? <laughs> I'm guessing. Did I get that right? Uh, these new these new icons are a little bit confusing. Uh, the levitate ability, good. Psy beam, yeah, these are def that's definitely psychic. These are normal type moves, and it is a bashful nature alter form clay doll. I don't know if the uh, the this this alter form. Oh, excuse me, I fell down a hole. I don't know if this alter form clay doll is available in Generation Eight or if they added it in Generation Eight is what I'm trying to say, because I'm only trying to collect Gen Eight pokes. But I'm gonna keep it for now, and we'll see what happens afterwards. In the meantime, let's get him back here, and let's finally evolve this Snom, which is level 13 now. I think. Why can't why is it doing that? Is it? Okay, that's really weird. Maybe it's hollow underneath. Uh, here, buddy, come here. It's nighttime. Is he still not happy enough? 218. Come on. Okay, Snom. This is it. This is the moment. It's now at level 225 happiness. Okay, okay. It's nighttime. Uh, maybe I should wait a little bit longer. Is it still like dusk? No, this is this is definitely nighttime. I mean, it doesn't hurt to wait a little while longer. Maybe his uh, happiness. I don't. What's the maximum level of happiness? I feel like it's like. I feel like I'm probably pretty close to maxed out. Okay, the moon is well over the horizon here. Snom, this is it. Let's go to a clearing here because I don't know what you're gonna look like, and I want to see you from from a distance. Come here, Snom. Right here, buddy. Are we ready? It's happening! Oh, <laughs> it's about time. Does he learn any moves when he evolves? Because he's had the same two moves his whole life. Whoa! That is a cool looking Pokemon. Frosmoth. Ice and bug. Oh, it learned it learned powder snow. I think it had wait, did it have icy wind? No, it had powder snow. It learned icy wind. Huh. Okay. Special defense is still 107. It's not the greatest. Uh, we should have probably evolved the other one. I don't know why I chose this one. But either way, we have a Frost Moth. And it looks really good. And that's going to be it for this episode. Like I mentioned before, feel free to join the server. And uh, I'll let you guys know the next time I'm coming on. Because I want to battle some people. Other than just the battle tower stuff. And then the gyms and stuff. So I want to battle some of you guys. Um, you guys know my team pretty much. I won't know your team, so you'll probably beat me. But that's okay. That's okay. It's all part of the fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to click the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And remember to click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. This moth is the coolest looking moth I've ever seen. Very nice. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. See you next time. Bye-bye.